Hello, Radiant viewers, and welcome to Meta Tarot, where we look at all things through the lens of loving kindness. And today I'm going to read on the question, how long will Trump be president? Or, I guess another way of looking at that would be, will he serve out his four-year appointment? And I suppose underneath it all, we're all just asking, wow, can we please somehow, some way, be done with this? Um, so anyway, I am going to ask the question first, will Donald Trump finish his four-year term as president? Which, which means, will he be president for four years? I know there might be a few different ways to interpret that question, but will he end up serving those first four years? Not that he's really serving us now, I have to admit. So will he finish his first term as president? That. I mean, I can tell you some things that I've seen some from readings that I've done in the past, though I haven't um, video recorded them. This is so interesting. I'm not getting the those clumps of cards. Um. So one reading I did right after he was um, elected, I put that word in quotes, was that he, I just got two years, and I was interpreting that at the time as two years from that time, and it was um, probably later in November, two years ago. And, and then the person I was reading for asked a couple questions, and... Um, I wasn't really sure at the time if it would be two years from that time, but I also got 20 days. So I kind of got two years and 20 days. And now because we're heading right around to that time of that prediction, I am wondering, and I wondered at the time of the reading, if it really meant two years of presidency plus 20 days. So that was then. And readings do change, energies change. And last September, I was feeling like he was going to resign, which given his personality, how would, how would he resign? And uh, so that didn't happen. And now we're here. And let's see what the cards have to say. So the page of wands is, uh, I, the first thing I want to say is the the immature strategist who um, has the beginning of a plan and, um, well, certainly some of what we see with Trump is that there's a beginning of a plan. I'm thinking of all those executive orders at the beginning where they weren't, um, they were, they were ordering things that were in some cases illegal and they had to be revised and fixed, and I wondered at the time why White House counsel didn't fix those before they ever went out, and perhaps the answer to that was that White House counsel never saw that just tsunami of executive orders that came out when he first became president. So it's starting now, actually, this reading is starting with his beginning and his role and his, um, you know, that shows his a kind of immature uh, beginning there and he's he's really hanging on to his money there's uh, <clears throat> I think people who are backing him who uh, will support him in a number of business ways as long as he's president and they get their agenda met and uh, I'll leave it at that I'm not gonna even get into the the topic of 
where those people might be or who they are. Um, underneath is the Two of Swords, and that is a, you know a few things. It's staying still while there's you know that's this card indicates the eye of the storm. Here, I'll show it to you. The eye of the storm. The person is uncomfortable holding their peace because, or the calm of that, because they have two large swords and they're crossed above the person's heart. And it's not what we might call peaceful. There's actually a lot of effort being put forth to uh, maintain order and to maintain that position. So, and there, there's always a little bit of feeling of justice to this card because of the blindfold. The Two of Swords is blindfolded like justice. There, There's a sense that he doesn't know what's going to come out and what's going to come forward in terms of him and all of his legal issues not only the Russia investigation, but also his quote-unquote charitable organization in New York that's um, um, under fire right now because it wasn't actually a charitable organization. As it turns out, the um, Trumps were using it as a piggy bank for other, other funding and not for charities. So there's that, and I think that's actually influencing this situation. And there we have it, the Three of Pentacles. Working with others, sometimes in the dark, to create whatever influence, possession, power. Um, the Apprentice here, this came up in yesterday's reading, The Apprentice here, um, using the tools of his trade is trying to impress these two people for his own benefit. So that is what is conscious in this reading and what is what is at play as the observable reality level that other people can see. So this is the reality level that's not necessarily visible that um, it, it actually is probably underneath all of that. It's it's difficult to maintain uh, how everything is going right now and what all is happening. He's sort of playing a part at the bidding of other people, and he's hanging on to that position. And um, I, I'm getting he's not as confident as he really looks. I think he's sort of scared actually. He's scared that stuff is going to come out and more than it already has. Um, but I think he's mostly afraid of the people he is in cahoots with. And then there is a new beginning. New year, new beginning. Uh, I think right now he is honestly looking forward to maybe running for a second a second term i think at the time of this reading right now he he is not thinking of leaving at all and i think he kind of owes his constituency which is something like the one percent the you know mega billionaire class of people um, but he, this reading saying he's going to hang on as long as possible, and it's showing a four, as in four years. So let me get a little bit more information about, about that in terms of is he going to serve out his first term as president. And Queen of Cups. There could be a little bit of delusion there, and I think that 
when things change after the first of the year on January the 3rd and we have a Democratic Democrat majority in the House, I think that there's going to be some new exploration of his activities and some new um, investigations and a call for, for new information to see. Okay, there's two. I'm not getting any card that looks like a final answer here. Um. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the Eight of Cups is there with the Empress is also underneath this <clears throat> next layer of the reading. So I think what happens is after January, there's the new energy that wants to look at things in a different way and get more to the bottom of things and wants to create clarity on things that have been confusing um, or irritating. I think he gets worried about it. The Five of Swords is here, which can sometimes be the na 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 na, see what I got away with, but he didn't quite get away with it. And I don't know, friends, it, the Eight of Cups is here which means walking away from a situation. So, and next to walking away from the situation is the truth coming out with the Empress there below and then the, the Queen of Cups. So part of that is that we're seeing more and more women taking political roles as representatives and as senators. And so this energy of um, maybe just not the status quo and doing things a little bit differently, being more diverse and being more inclusive perhaps shows a change in just energy and vibration where, at least in this circumstance, it's not okay to get away with things and to minimize democratic principles, act against people of this country and not of this country, that maybe just all that kind of dirty dealing just isn't okay with the upcoming changes. So, he may by the force of the truth want to walk away, that anything that he might be facing as a consequence with his backers might actually dim in comparison to the uh, horror of the truth coming out or whatever that is to, to him. I think part of what that might be to him is just not winning because the the Five of Swords is here really close to this page, which to me is just indicating a lot of immaturity and feeling like you've gotten away with something and, and being kind of okay with that. And then the reality of not being able to actually get away with those things and having your, you know, having his um, identity even questioned in a, in a way where it might actually get to him. Like, I think his identity is questioned a lot by people in the world. But I think here with the truth coming out and the idea that really I think it's his financial dealings that um, I think it's his taxes. I think once... Uh, the reality of his taxes being revealed is I think that that is just too awful to him I think so in terms of when he's going to leave I am looking at these 
cards here. And this is the truth, and I've pulled two eight cards. And eights, especially when they're paired or close to each other, mean a change of place. It means moving. And the eight, the eight of cups is leaving a situation that's been built up over time. And the Eight of Wands, one thing it means is crossing across like a boundary, like a state line. So I think what we're going to see is being confronted with the truth causing a departure. And I think because of the Eight of Cups with the Eight of Wands, that unfortunately we're not talking about the December holidays for a departure date and I also think we're not talking about January as a departure date though during that time we may see some of the influences that cause his departure alas I think we're gonna have to wait till spring I see snow melting here and the beginning of plants the the uh, Eight of Wands has a lot of green buds there. So in spring, the snows melt and the plants start to emerge, at least in the climate that we, we once had. That's what happens. It still pretty much happens. It's just quite a bit different. My cat came to say hi again. So I'm thinking, yes, we are going to see a departure, his departure in spring. And right now he's thinking of and is trying really hard to hold on to his position. And that's the reading for today. I think we all might have a cause for celebration in spring and we'll just have to get through the next, I don't know, six months or so, really. And, um, so thank you for watching. Please subscribe and I look forward to talking to you the next time.